On this episode of Inside the Blueprint, we're showcasing the industry-leading technologies that you don't necessarily see, but have a big impact on our lives. Dealing with data? Meet the technology that's enabling companies to deploy infrastructure at unprecedented densities, plus a revolutionary acoustic flooring technology that's making a sound difference, an unseen vital utility. Air compressors. They play a massive part in everyday life. And as modern building designs become more complex, so do the safety considerations, especially when it comes to fire suppression. Things are big in Texas. Located 30 minutes north of downtown Dallas, one high-tech company remains true to those values. TMG Core. This head-turning 150,000 square foot facility provides big solutions and big value to both American and global enterprises. Here at TMG Core's state-of-the-art facility in Plano, Texas, we have the best in innovation. Our immersion labs, our large space, our 110 megawatt capability is where we bring our customers and our partners in every day to innovate the best in class technologies that exist today. And while big is part of this state's legacy, so too is the impression that TMG Core has made with its revolutionary suite of data center platforms. Known as Auto, high density data centers designed with innovative two phase liquid immersion cooling technology, these cutting edge platforms feature vastly smaller footprints, increased compute densities, providing capabilities that stretch way beyond the threshold of traditional, less efficient air cooled deployments. We're able to outperform today's air cooled technologies by utilizing liquid. Liquid is exponentially better at transferring heat from one object to another. So if you combine that with our automation, our robotics and the hydroblade form factor, it enables efficiencies and densities that are simply unmatched by today's air cooled technology. Auto provides lower operating and maintenance costs, including far less energy requirements. The bottom line, bigger savings, bigger, better performance, deployed by liquid immersion two-phased infrastructure with unprecedented densities to the enterprise and beyond. With TMG Core's two-phase immersion technology, we're not as reliant on cooling. It allows us to optimize and pick the best location in a community where we can offer a high-performing, low-cost solution in an optimum location. And that's a huge advantage when we talk about not only the performance, but the cost to deliver that performance if we can eliminate and lower one of the cost elements in delivering a data center solution. TMG Core's auto platform, quite simply put, is the world's most advanced two-phase liquid immersion cooling high-performance computing platform. We work with small, medium, and large enterprise customers, along with our ecosystem of partners like Dell and Intel, to develop the highest performing compute that exists today. Boasting full, high-performance compute data centers in nearly every location up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, in spaces as small as 25 square feet, Auto is the kind of market-leading performance TMG Core is excited to share. There are numerous value propositions to an auto deployment. 50% less capital expenditures, 60 to 80% less operational expenditures, and more than 90% less floor space needed to deploy the technology. Not to mention we're 4,000 times more efficient than air. To paint a picture, I'm standing in 130,000 square feet of raw data center shell. A typical air deployment would deploy 20 megawatts into this shell, and the best-in-class air design will be at a PUE of 1.25. By that, I mean 25% of that 20 megawatts coming in will go to things that aren't compute, so only 15 megawatts is usable. On the flip side, we would deploy 86 megawatts of auto technology in the same space at a world-class PUE of 1.03. By that, I mean 97% of that 86 megawatts is going towards compute, which would mean 83.5 megawatts. 15 megawatts versus 83.5 megawatts. An auto deployment provides a quantum leap in efficiencies that allows the chip manufacturers at the hardware level to design not based upon the constraints of air, liquid to chip, or single phase, but really on the constraints of their imagination. TMG Core came together in 2017 to bring the brightest minds in the industry, and specifically high-performance computing. 
we saw a problem, and that is how do we innovate in the future with this massive tsunami of technology coming down the line? We did that and we solved that problem. When you look to the future and you think about um, IoT applications, when you think about artificial intelligence, when you think about the mass deployment of 5G, and you really begin to think about those latency sensitive use cases that really are gonna drive the need for that local edge data center and the need for high powered compute high-powered storage, and high-powered processing. That's the advantage of TMG Core. Discover how TMG Core's two-phase liquid immersion cooling data center technology can benefit your enterprise. Visit them at tmgcore.com. It's considered a pioneer in its category, a cutting edge product found in America's most prestigious properties, including 432 Park Avenue. Not limited to our biggest skyscrapers, it's also an integral part of interior construction. It's what's called underlayment, found in tens of thousands of urban homes, apartments, and commercial properties coast to coast. From Main Street to your street, to upscale Park Avenue, this critical flooring material not only improves homes and businesses, but the quality of our everyday living. That's a win-win, including superb engineering for quieter sound absorbent floors, making for greater employee satisfaction, increased work efficiencies and ergonomics, resulting in higher employee productivity and morale. We engineered a product specifically for flooring underlayment. The product was made to abate sound it was meant to be a moisture barrier without any additional film. And more than anything, it was made to be lightweight and easy to work with. And installers loved it. And it also made laminate floors sound like solid wood floors, which was the ultimate goal. Becoming a leader in any field requires diligence, engineering know-how, perseverance, and a keen sense of the marketplace. The floor melter was designed thinking about do-it-yourselfers. We wanted to offer a product that was going to be easy to install. The floor muffler is a high performance underlayment that offers the best acoustical performance in the market. It is a moisture barrier, has great compression characteristics, making your, your flooring last longer. We have videos, we have instructions that show how, how easy the, the installation is. When you use floor muffler in your next flooring installation, you're going to hear the difference. Contractors and professional installers across America know them well. Even today's consumers ask for it by name. As a number one brand, Floor Muffler is so popular that if laid end to end, would stretch around the earth more than twice. That's 50,000 miles of Floor Muffler. At Diversified Industries, we work with many kinds of foam products. The Floor Muffler is a polyolefin that was designed and engineered specifically for the flooring industry to be used as an underlayment product. Its proprietary blend of polypropylene and polyethylene are what give it its unbelievable performance characteristics. It's very easy to cut, it's foam, it's lightweight, and it will get your, uh, your room ready to install your flooring. So Jeff, it is important for our viewers to know that over the past 20 years there's been a significant uh, development in the flooring industry. You got that right. As a matter of fact, those developments uh, have really changed the way we go to market. They've really forced us to innovate and continue to grow as a company to meet the demands of the flooring industry. Yeah, like now there's many different types of floorings. Yeah, the floor muffler is no longer just the name of a product. The floor muffler really represents a family of products, you, you know, and these products are used in all different flooring underlayment applications. The pink lip and the tape on our floors are, are significant of a foundation that we are a founder of called the Floors for the Cure Foundation. Central to all diversified industries product line sales, including floor muffler, is the philosophy of giving back. Charitable contributions to those life-saving causes that need our help and need it most. Floors for the Cure Foundation is making that happen. 
Floors for the Cure is a charitable foundation that was founded in 2004. It began when my wife developed breast cancer and was treated for it. After that experience, we decided it was time to give back to individuals and families that were going through similar situations and to donate to the research being done to help prevent families from having to go through these kinds of situations at all. While the foundation started with a focus on breast cancer research, it soon grew to provide funding to many different types of research organizations. To date, we've donated to over 15 different organizations. Your purchases allow us to continue our charitable contributions in hopes of finding a cure. For additional information on the best performing, longest lasting underlayment floor products for your next building or restoration project, visit floormuffler.com. Or for additional information on this best in class company, manufacturers of floor muffler and other premium products for automotive, aeronautics, home and business, go to diversifiedindustries.com. Air compressors are those invisible things that you probably don't realize are in every walk of life. Whether it's how we fill sodas into bottles, how we move and convey parts in factories and plants, uh, how buildings are painted. Uh, it's, it is truly a fourth utility. Most people think about electric and gas, um, but clearly air is another utility that is just as vital in production processes, whether they be in pharmaceuticals, whether they be in food, uh, putting chips in bags, or also in industrial environments like we work at here in Solaire, building products for other companies. In a factory, on a job site, or anywhere in need of clean air, there's a reason Sol Air has been the leading edge of compressed air solutions for over 50 years. Been around for 53 years, since 1965. We, we make uh, compressors, industrial compressors, both portable and stationary. Uh, we go beyond compressors. We make uh, ancillary or tertiary products that complement the total solution package for compressed air for industrial and many other types of customers. Sol Air, to be real honest, was for the past eight to ten years was somewhat in a you know, holding pattern and, and with uncertainty in terms of what the future might be. Throughout the industry, Sol Air has commonly been known as being like your father's Oldsmobile. While renowned for its durability, it's no question Sol Air was often seen as being outdated manufacturers. That was until the acquisition by Hitachi in 2017. I was actually in the team of this acquisition in Hitachi side. And after the acquisition, I was actually told that you're gonna lead that business now. So we were thinking about how we can bring Hitachi's culture or Hitachi's uh, strength into Salaire to bring this business into the you know, even better direction. Not only did we get a partner in Hitachi as an owner, but we got a great partner. Hitachi has come in, they're committed to this business. They are very strong in their own right in Japan. They are committing with resources, uh, technology. They have products we don't have and technology. We have some they don't have. But the commitment at the very top of Hitachi couldn't be stronger. My goal for Salaya um, is we just, we actually do just merged together um, and still in stage of bringing the best culture each other right now. But the goal is that we will, I want to, and I think the Hitachi and the Salaya both wants to become a number one player in the world, not just the USA, not just North America, or not just in Japan. The, with the technology that we bring into the Salaya, and the Salaya's basic structure and strength we already have here, we can make it to the number one company in the world. Sol Air is rapidly innovating due to the company's acquisition by Hitachi in 2017. From an engineering standpoint, since Solaire has been acquired by Hitachi, 
uh, it's been like a, a new kid with a, a new set of tools or, or a new toolbox. I've been able to look at not only the the mathematical tools that Hitachi uses to be able to compare and contrast and then use the best of all the technologies to help further our development of new product. We have access to Hitachi's leadership development programs for our employees. So we're starting to um, consider ways to send our employees through those, those programs. Sol Air is showing us why they're far from being old school with their compressors at the heart of most manufacturing and industrial applications. Solaire air compressors are known for their durability and reliability. Uh, we have and I have seen compressors in customer sites that are over 30 years old. As long as they are well maintained and they're continued to be kept up well, they will last. That is a hallmark that from a development standpoint, we've in ensure that we have kept that with all new products. So as we've brought out and maintained the DNA of Solaire, we've improved in other areas, uh, such as the operator interface and performance aspects of how our compressors work. Our mantra at Solaire is pretty simple. We, we pride ourselves on being reliable in terms of the products that we manufacture, durable, and providing very high performance products as well so that we can help industrial companies excel and do the jobs that they intend to do. The resources they give us, uh, there are over 300,000 people at Atachi. I kind of feel like I've met all of them at some point in time, but there's a tremendous amount of resource that we didn't have, uh, quite frankly. Uh, and the people themselves, I, I probably should have led with that. The people at Atachi are very genuine. Uh, they care, they want to help. Uh, so are Solaire, so it's a, it's, it's a match really made in heaven because uh, there's just a tremendous amount of synergy and respect going both ways and we try to help one another. As, as, even though we're small compared to Hitachi, um, most companies are, we, we try to give back to Hitachi as well, but it's a, been a fantastic marriage. And, it's a, and I, the word I use is it's given Solaire home. In 2018, Sol Air introduced and expanded two new major lines for both their stationary and portable air compressors. The biggest aspects we've been focusing on from a technology development are new air ends for our products. They are basically the heart of the compressor. They are what we are known for in terms of durability, reliability, and what we have done is improve that, making them the most efficient air ends in the market. So our new LS series product is a first all new product that has been launched um, in almost a decade. It has truly changed the perspective of Solaire from being a very traditional old school type product to putting us out in the leading edge with developing new technology, allowing our products to lead in the market. Continuing to find new ways to advance and incorporate innovative features at a rapid pace for a reliable and sustainable performance. Solaire's product is uh, known as uh, reliability, durability, and performance. Famous throughout the world for their legendary durable products, Sol Air has been on top of innovating air solutions year after year. There's going to be growth here. We've added over a couple hundred people just this past year, and I think we could be stronger than we are today, and we're pretty strong now. But we have a balance between you know, the little bit of catch up to, that we need, we're still doing, we're almost there, and, and growth, which we are accelerating at a, at a record pace right now. And we're going to continue to do that for many years to come. There's risk involved in running any business today but an unexpected fire could be a catastrophic risk that might mean the end of your business. Many times businesses don't recover from a fire. There is $155 million a year in losses in storage facility fires alone. There is three times the damage in a non-sprinkler facility compared to a sprinkler facility. Um, so having a sprinkler facility is safer for us, safer for everybody, and minimizes your losses. Many businesses will ask why. Why do I need this? I've never had a problem before. And I just usually tell them they've been lucky. 
That's why constant innovation is needed in the field of fire suppression, including sprinklers specifically designed to meet the hazard classification of the building they protect. We're at the Johnson Controls uh, Fire Products Training Center, and uh, what we do here is we do water-based fire protection training. We have 16 functional sprinkler risers, we have a spray demonstration room, we have fire pumps, we have uh, special hazards rooms, so anything in the fire protection world, we can really train on here. As the world changes, we need to change, so the innovation side of it, we need to keep up with, we need to keep pushing forward and creating new products to help protect these businesses and these large buildings going up. With over 125 years of innovation in fire suppression, Johnson Controls has a long history in testing and proving its Tyco sprinkler solutions in the field. Solutions which have made it a global leader in sprinkler products. So we invented the modern sprinkler many years ago. Our brand has a deep history. A notable fire sprinkler pioneer, Frederick Grinnell, invented the modern sprinkler in 1881. At Johnson Controls, our fire suppression business is committed to leading innovation in our industry. And we are passionate about what we do because we know it matters. Today, Johnson Controls Research and Development Center, where modern day fire sprinkler products are invented, sits on a site where fire suppression technological advancements have been developed for the past 100 years. So if you think about a sprinkler, it's a pretty amazing device, right? This thing has to be installed in a building for a pretty significant period of time. It could be 20, maybe up to 50 years in all different kinds of environments. So to make sure that a sprinkler is going to perform in all those different applications, we subject them to a, a large number of different types of tests. These can range from hydrostatic integrity to the strength of the actual frame of the sprinkler to uh, flow distribution or spray distribution, which is actually a test of the spray pattern of the sprinkler for a different application. Can also incorporate multiple full-scale fire tests depending on whatever the hazard we're trying to protect is. And what's the latest innovation in fire suppression to come to market from Tyco? the new electronically activated sprinkler system that offers sprinkler heads with sensors to identify the source of where a fire has started. Hi, I'm Andy Silva. I'm the chief engineer for Johnson Controls Fire Protection Products Group. I'm here in our test area F, where we're about to test Johnson Controls electronically activated sprinkler. The test simulates a warehouse arrangement. We've got about eight boxes behind me. We're gonna light the boxes up to challenge the sprinkler to see if it can put out the fire. It's gonna be a pretty exciting test, so here we go. So we need to conduct fire testing to prove out that sprinklers can adequately address the fires. We ignite the boxes at the base of the fire, basically to simulate an arson event in a warehouse, which can be very challenging to try to control. When the sprinkler reaches the activation point, the sprinkler will operate and discharge water. The goal is to determine whether or not the sprinkler, when it activates, can actually suppress the fire. Fire sprinklers have to respond faster and more intelligently in order to provide the most cost-effective and efficient fire protection solution. The, the important thing about electronic sprinklers is that they operate much quicker and we can operate a group of sprinklers surrounding the point of ignition much earlier. That allows us to address fires when they're much smaller. Smaller fires produce less smoke and less damage to buildings and their contents and are much easier to manage with less water. In other words, only the sprinklers necessary to address the fire activate. The electronic sprinkler is really revolutionary because it's the first time in the industry that we're applying electronic detection to the fire problem. Previous to now, it's always been a mechanical detection. What this allows is much faster detection, which allows for faster water on the fire. That's a huge deal and something we're really excited to bring to market. Over uh, the next several years, uh, we're going to invest in excess of $5 million uh, to improve and enhance our capabilities. Uh, and in the end, we're working on something that uh, saves people's lives. This new innovative way to suppress fires has drastically reduced water demand and increased speed in responding to a fire. And that can mean a business can continue to thrive. Thanks to a company with over a century of dedication to innovation, 
To learn more about Tyco Fire Sprinklers, go to their website, tyco-fire.com forward slash inside the blueprint, or go to inside the blueprint.com to see this portion of the show again. Thanks for watching Inside the Blueprint. For more information on any of the products you saw today or to find out how to become part of the show, please visit InsideTheBlueprint.com.